for an interesting then and now story. The prototype was called Sakshat. The final product looks and feels nothing like the prototype, but the thought process is the same. Make a computing device that is affordable, and by affordable, we mean it is the cheapest gadget ever. Targeted mainly at students and their educational needs, the significance of the product cannot be undermined. If I were to place an order with the manufacturer today, okay. he would supply me a million pieces for $35. Okay, so we're not even saying okay. that 20 different world governments have to get in, we have to have a billion pieces to make it at 35 dollars. No, 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 no. Nothing like I, this. It's 35 dollars. I have been promised a, th a million pieces for 35 dollars. That's not the bill of materials, that's actually what they'll give yeah, you. Yeah, that's actually so what they'll if, give if, if, the, if the demand for this can reach a million, and right. I can easily see this reaching right. a million, right. then people can buy it for 35 dollars and just no, no, to no, put no. that... This no, is no, now, this no. is for... Our, no, no, that's not right. We, this, we are going to supply this to our institutions, right? So right. the REIT, if it were to be in the retail market, there will be other added costs to it, yes. which will bring the price up as far as the retail market is concerned. If I supply this gadget to my own children right. in the universities, and that's what it is for for the moment, mm -hmm. then I will supply it at $35. Okay, so then okay? that would be the cost that actually the university may have to pay and they may want to further. The, of this, the Government of India policy on the ICT mission is, of this $35, that's 1,500 rupees, mm -hmm. 750 rupees is subsidy anyway. But the final cost of manufacturing the tablet is close to $38, $37.98 dollars to be precise. So it is about $3 more than what was originally conceived. But that's just manufacturing cost. Once costs like transportation warranty are added, the final selling price of the device is close to $50 or about 2,276 rupees. And this price point is being achieved through volume of 1 lakh units produced. But the marginal increase in cost does not take away from the fact that to an educational institute the tablet will cost less than 1500 rupees since the government subsidy on the product is about 50% as was promised by the minister. For the regular consumers the cost of the tablet will not exceed 3000 rupees after all applicable taxes. The final product has been built from scratch and doesn't look like the prototype at all. There is only the home button on the face of the device. It has a rubberized back, 7-inch resistive screen and the device weighs 350 grams. It runs on Android 2.2. In terms of connectivity, it is Wi-Fi enabled, has two full USB ports that will allow users to use 3G dongles to access the internet. It comes with 256 MB RAM and 2 GB flash memory on board. There is a 2 GB microSD card in the box that is expandable to 32 GB. The device has a 2100 mAh battery. While watching HD videos, the device is expected to last for about one and a half to two hours. On mixed use, the device should last for about three hours. The device has 366 megahertz processor. In terms of positives, the tablet has a dedicated HD video processor that can play full 1080p videos. But the other big advantage is definitely the content. Not only videos, but the tablet can also be used for lectures, animations, simulations, virtual labs, notes and other website references as well as tests. Since this project was started in 2003, all the videos are available in SD, but future episodes are being planned in HD. Students can view the lectures on the site or the YouTube channel and have the option to download the video for free as well. The government is suggesting to the institutes to place orders for the device and issue it as a book bank to students, similar to issuing books from a school library. The National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning have videos of all engineering lectures and are proposing other streams as well. But with a price like that, few compromises are but natural. The screen is the biggest negative. We had felt it at the prototype stage and we felt it with the finished product as well. Stylus is not included in the price bracket. Though the device has the provision, the camera is not operational. Same is the case with calling capabilities of the device, at least for the first lot of new units. 
The device doesn't have an Android Marketplace but does have GetJa apps loaded to make up for the missing Android Marketplace. The device will have its own app store which will aim to provide free educational apps.